What is going on, YouTube fam? Micah back on another high adventure video. We are back at the river. Y'all, we were here like a week, eh, maybe 10 days ago, slamming catfish on jerk baits. So we are back, but this time I have brought some heavy duty rods. We've still got the hubby kayak. And I also brought with me some live bait. Check that out right there. Got some live herring floating around in there we're gonna drop some live bait some cut bait and we're gonna see if there are any piggies hanging out down there so all of the catfish that i caught last time i was here were on jerk baits and most of them were between about two and seven pounds but i'm hoping with this live slash cut bait that maybe those bigger ones weren't in such a chasing mood after the jerk baits but if we drift a little cut bait or a live herring goes fluttering by if there are any piggies in here they'll go after something like that. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. See if we can discover any jumbos hanging out in this stretch of the river. Let's get started. I got a good feeling about today. I got a good feeling. Gotta be careful, this mud gets super slickery. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Gorgeous morning out here on the water. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, gotta load our bait bucket. I just realized I don't have a net to fish the bait out with. Classic move by me. I always forget that one little item. I don't know why, but I always do. Oh well, I think we can make do, hopefully. The bucket's small enough and there are two dozen in there. There. Feel pretty confident with that. All right. Rinse the tootsies off before we get in. And we're afloat. Sweet. Oh, let's get the pedal drive down before we head into the trees. Okay, I think we made it. On this trip, I've also brought along with me the depth finder. I wanna see if there are any nice little pools or channels that we can fish. There's definitely a channel, you know, obviously it's on the river, but I want to see how deep it is because it doesn't seem like it's very deep. I'm showing about seven and a half feet right here. So that's your deepest point. Let's go ahead and head on up, see if we can find any deep pockets like this. Seven, eight, shoot, if I could get around 10 feet, I'd drop some bait into something like that. That'd be about perfect. Y'all check this out. See all this big lay down of wood and stuff? It's actually about seven feet deep, which is about the deepest spot I've been able to find. I don't know, I'm tempted to throw something right down there and see, see if there's anything lurking. We may have to do that. Guys, I think that's gonna do it right there. Sweet, all right, let's get one of our live baits out. I don't know how long we'll be able to keep them alive today. I've got a couple of cold, uh, cold water bottles in there ice bottles I should say but we're gonna have to probably fish with the live bait we'll get a probably good couple hours out of it before they start dying off just like that look at that oh man right down by that lay down over there there we go boom right there that's where I want it all right baits down if there are any catfish around this lay down i should know probably within the next 10 minutes like they should be able to pick up on that vibration and just the shininess of that herring and just the struggling to be honest this looks like an awesome place for flathead like this is what i always hear guys fishing around like the flooded timber and stuff like that and live bait so who knows maybe we'll plug a big old flathead sometime today that'd be sweet y'all we just got a hit we just got a hit there's a hit right there. Got him. Got him. On the live bait. On the live bait. Oh my gosh. Dude, something took it. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh guys, it worked. Oh, it's a good fish too. This is a good fish. Now I'm working about 14 pound test line on this ugly stick. Oh, come on. He's running out to the middle. Now the one thing I might be contending with today a little bit are gar. So I do have to think about that, but I don't know guys, this doesn't feel like a gar. It doesn't feel like a gar on first on the first tug. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh, dude, I've been here for about five minutes. About five minutes. Oh, he's running out to the middle. Running out to the middle. Dude, just thumped it. Just thumped it right down there. What do we have? Oh, and you know what? Here you go. Here's something that's pleasant. Here's the net I brought because I'm an idiot. I just thought of that, really. I don't know why I didn't use something bigger, but you know what? I guess we'll just try to grab him by the tail, huck him in the boat if I can't. No, no, that's not a guy. That's a kitty. That's a kitty. Come on, baby. Oh, she's right here. I still haven't seen like what kind it is. I know I've caught blues and channels. Oh, dude, that's a good sized tail right there. That's definitely a cat. And that's a good sized tail. Oh, dude, I think it's a big old blue. Oh, dude, it is a big blue. It's a big old blue catfish. Today might be the day that we beat our personal best. I don't know if this is the fish right here, y'all. But this is a good cat. This is a <laughs> oh, this is a good way to start the day. This is a good way to start the day. I told y'all, it's only gonna take long. If there's anything down there by all that lay down, it ain't gonna take long at all. That hook's right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hook set. Just need to make sure the line holds up. I think I'm gonna switch over to my heavier, heavier set though. On the next cast. There we go, that's the set. Oh, there we go, yes! Oh my lord of mercy. Come on. Come on, baby. I gotta open the bale. Set the rod right here. <laughs> Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. Look at this. Look at this catfish. <laughs> Not a bad way to start the day. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna stand up for a bit. One second. 16.42 y'all i think we just beat our personal best my previous personal best was 16 and a quarter back in idaho 16.42 pounds the first catfish of the day is our new personal best and guys i mean there's a legit chance we get twice this size in here wow that's all that's all i can say just wow what a beautiful fish beautiful fish let's get her back in oh what a stud what a stud. There you go, get that water running through those gills. That is the way to start the morning right there. There she goes. All right. <laughs> I don't know if it gets better than that. Starting the day with my new personal vest, and I mean, we're just getting started. I got, I got 23 more live herring in there, and a day full of possibilities, and a river that does not get fished very much. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Guy's getting hit again. There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, there's another bite right there. Come on. Take it. She's got it. Got it. Ooh, this might be a gar. See how fast that's running? Oh, yeah. She just popped out. Dang. Dang. Don't want that. All right. I've wedged myself between a couple of big pieces of fallen timber here right in front of us is about seven and a half feet right under all that lay down got a fresh herring ready to go moved up river just a little bit if we hook a fish you know i'm not exactly sure how we're gonna get it in to be downright honest with you <laughs> we'll figure something out got a couple of nice pieces actually this a big old piece right here all this right here. In fact, this is a bit, I'm not, I'm noticing this is definitely a fresher lay down because leaves are still on the tree here. That whole thing just tore away from the bank. Guys, we just got bit, just got bit. Been in there for literally like a minute. Just went boom, boom. There it is. Got it, right in there. Right in there. Oh, I feel like I'm snagged. Is he still on? Yeah, he's on in there. Dude, I wonder if I could walk out on this, on this, right here. It's a pretty, it's pretty wide. Yeah, dude, he's on. He's straight up on in there. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, this is sketchy. Don't know about this. Don't know about this. Oh, hey, it's pretty dry on top. Come on. Come on. Definitely feels like another catfish. Oh yeah, we're caught on a branch right here. Come on. Come on. 
that fish is still on. I just need to get it off. Oh yeah, he's right there. I should have just walked out on this in the first place. <laughs> oh yeah, she's still on there, she's still on there. Come on, seriously, you're caught in this little... Oh no, she just broke off. Caught on that little branch. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Dude, we're getting back out there. In fact, I'm gonna just walk out here. Get another piece of bait. Just, just broke the whole line. I've got a fun yet dangerous idea, y'all. We're going to walk out and better position ourselves for a cast. In fact, I'm gonna drop this right down here. Look at that, right in the crux. I'm gonna just stand on this log, dude. I'm gonna wait to get hit. I'm gonna have to bully that fish out because it's, <laughs> it's right in the jungle, dude. Y'all, we just got hit. Oh, we're getting hit right now. Got him. <laughs> right down in there right in that hole now i gotta get him out of there i gotta get him out of there no no <laughs> that is legit dude like 30 seconds 30 seconds down there not very big not very big but that still was awesome on the log now this looks like yeah this is a channel right here we got us a channel that is sweet. <laughs> Hello, you. You tore that bait up, didn't you? Woohoo! Come on. Yeah. See, can I get that hook out? Right there. Boom. Ha! That was sweet. <laughs> Drop her back in. There you go. That was easy. We gotta do that again. Let's see if there are any more down there. That was hilarious. I'm definitely playing with fire a little bit on this log, but she's pretty stable. Famous last words. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that log is rotating. Okay, okay. We're gonna go nice and easy. Let's drop her back down. Let's go right up there. Dude, I'm already getting hit. Dude, I I'm getting hit already. Got him, right there. Oh no, oh he busted off. Dude, dude. I mean, immediate. Holy jeepers. That felt like a good fish right there too. Oh, kayak, where are you going? I've got my anchor out the back. The kayak has definitely drifted a little further than I'd like. Oh dude, my hook busted. Look at that, I didn't even, the hook just broke. Like that fish was so big, it just busted the hook. Holy cow, look at that. It's gone, that's a heavy duty hook too. Oh my goodness. What is going on, man? I've got, okay, I've got an even heavier dutier hook than that. Dude, I thought that, that's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, that felt like a bite right there, ladies and gentlemen. Felt like something, oh yeah, come on. I almost feel like he has. <sighs> no. A snagarushki. Dang. All right. We fished this thoroughly enough. Let's get this out or break it off or whatever. Move on to the next one. Check out this big old root ball right here, y'all. There's got to be something right down there, right? It looks real good. It's only about five feet right there, so it's a little shallower. But may not make a difference guys we're getting hit dude something's taking it dude this might be a gar yeah that's a oh shoot just burned my finger that's a gar jeepers i think dude just totally sliced into my finger dude maybe not this might be a catfish no dude this is a catfish this is a catfish right down there Right down there, just, I mean, he ate it and then just took off. Now he's running back up towards me. I gotta keep him out of that wood. Gotta keep him out of that wood. Holy smokes, whoo! Darn near sliced a big old cut into my finger. Oh yeah, he's right by that wood. Nope, nope, stay away from there. Got a little bit more, a little bit heavier pound test line so we can horse him out. Dude, right down there, right at this big old gnarly looking root. Oh, I totally thought that was a gar. He just took off with it. This is a good catfish too right here. Another solid fish. 
Another blue. The biggins are blue so far. Ha! That was amazing. Oh man, what a take. What a take. Not bigger than the last one, but I'll bet that's a... I'll bet that goes 10 right there. Right in the top of the mouth. Shoo! Good heavens, we got this whole lay down to fish too. Man, that was sweet. That was sweet. Oh, I'm gonna need a band-aid. That cut my finger pretty good. Can you bring that tail over this way, buddy? Swing around. Uh, no. See if I had a net. We could have had him netted by now. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. Woo. Yes. Look at that fish, dude. That's that's a solid 10-pound blue. Ah, there we go. <laughs> pretty, pretty fish. Oh, no, that hook was not coming out. There we go. Beautiful porker. Shoot. Good fight. Good run. There you go. Oh, man. This is another piggy of the deep. Man, the blues on that live bait is just phenomenal. There we go. I'm gonna cast this guy right up here. Like that, right there, right in that eddy. See buddy hanging out down there, right behind this tree. What we'll probably do is position ourselves on the other side of the tree as well, because everything faces up the current, right? Because it's waiting for stuff to float down. So we fish the eddy behind, just in case there are any fish right in this little pool. But then if I want to try to fish for the fish that are maybe right in the wood, I want to go around on the other side of it and present the bait. So hopefully either they'll smell it or they'll see it and they'll come out from the wood and you know head up river to, to nail it, hopefully. Something right there. Dude, that's a bite right there. We just got hit. Got him, got him, pulling him out of the wood is what I'm doing. There we go, there we go. The catfish like thump it. Not terribly big, it doesn't seem like. Hey! Oh, it's a flathead, it's a flathead. Hey, now we're cooking. Dude, I might eat this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Guys, we, if we can get this in, actually this one will fit in the net. If we could get this in, we will complete the trifecta. Yeah! That's awesome. Dude, that's like a good eating size right there. I had people in one of my, in a video a couple couple videos ago when I was actually doing one of my challenges. Um, people were like, ooh, flathead's good eating. And that's a nice little like two pounder. I think we're gonna throw them on a stringer. We have, wait, what do we hit? Is this a home run? A grand slam? We've hit blue cat, channel cat, flathead. There gotta be some piggy flatheads down there. That is such a beautiful looking fish and a good eating size, I'm thinking. Still waiting for a jumbo though, and I'm talking like 25, 30 pounder. Nice. Nice, we're just gonna drop him off the bat. Let him swim around a little bit. There we go. I brought the thick line this time. Nothing's chewing through that right there. Awesome, all right, we've got our first keeper, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get another one down there though. I wanna see. Are there any more down there? Here we go. Ooh, that's a good, ooh, ooh, good size herring right there. I'm starting to think maybe I should have gotten three dozen. I think we've gone through about a dozen now. Oh yeah, right there. Big old log sticking up. Here we go. Let's see if there are any more down there. There's one right there. Oh, just got bit, just got bit. Only been down there for about two minutes. Come on. Did I get him? I was in the woods somewhere in there. Yep, got him, got him. <laughs> nice, another one right in there. Got another flathead maybe? I was hit, something was biting it, but I was tangled up in the wood. Ooh, well, that's a good pull right there. This is a solid fish. I was tangled up in the wood a bit, so when she hit, I had to pull her out there for a second. What do we got? Oh, now she's running up. Oh yeah, this ain't a bad fish. What do we got? She wasn't fighting much at first, but now she's putting, 
She's putting up a fight fight here. Come on, baby. What do we got? You just wear yourself out in that current. Just wear yourself out in that current. She's right here. I still don't know what it is. What do we got? No, we got a little channel. Got a little channel. You know what? I might throw this on the stringer too. Why not? Why not? That's like a good eating size right there. And that will actually fit in my net if I can get her close enough. That was a good fight. That channel gave up a real good fight. Come here, you. No. Well, come on. There we go. Now that's a nice three pound channel right there. Two and a half, three pounds. Shoot, channel catfish, flathead, everything. Right there, boom. Dude, let's get them on a stringer. There you go. Nice channel, nice flat, sweet. We got supper here now. Now it's time to see if we can't find those big ones again. Look at this little guy right here. I've got this lucky little albino jumping spider hanging out on the boat. What's up, little dude? He's been crawling on my hand. He's been crawling on my legs. You just chill out up there. Ever since you boarded the boat, we've been catching catfish. There's one. Just took it. Just took it. Holy cow, that was fast. I mean, he just smoked it. <laughs> Dude. Doesn't feel, well, it doesn't feel bad. It's always hard to tell in the current. But holy jeepers. Right on the front side. Front side of that same piece of wood right there, y'all. I was looking at my little white spider friend down here. And while I was trying to get the GoPro back on my head, I mean, that's just all of a sudden my line, it just went boom, boom, boom. I mean, she just like, she smoked it. Just smoked it and tried to take off. Doesn't that feel like a bad fish? Oh yeah, not a bad fish. I think this is another channel. I think this is another channel. Yeah, another nice channel. That's a nice channel. Not a bad fish. Y'all, we are definitely doing this again and I am bringing the big net next time. I feel like we have to do it just so I can bring the big net next time. But that's a good six, seven, maybe eight pound channel right there. We'll call it eight. We're fishermen. Ah, there we go. Literally, like two minutes, y'all. Two minutes down there. It doesn't take them long. If they're on that structure, they're gonna find that bait fast, especially that live bait. We'll probably cut bait too, but that's a pretty, pretty catfish. Any other day, that's, whoa. That'd be some lunch right there. That'd go on the stringer, but we've already got lunch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, this is the last herring that we have right there. The final sacrifice. Going down to see if we can catch one more fish. I'm gonna go heavy current, corner pocket. Right out there, just like that. Here's a bite. Got him. Oh no, he broke off. Oh, what a sad ending. Dude, it broke the whole line. The last piece of bait. He just totally busted the whole thing off. Man, that's it. That's our day. I got nothing else. All I packed was my hard tackle. Oh, shucks. Oh man, that's definitely not the way you want to end the day, but I can't complain. We have caught a load of catfish today. I might come back out like tomorrow and do this again. Like this has been such, such a unique, fun. People have been telling me about doing this kind of catfishing and I just haven't done it. Catfishing to me is fishing a 30, 40 foot channel. It's fishing a 10, 12 foot flat. It's not pitching and flipping live bait into wood, but this is by far like the funnest way to catfish now in my opinion. Like this beats the socks off of any other kind of catfishing I did before. We're gonna go ahead and get on back. We've still got our catfish on the stringer. Let's go cook up a little catfish late lunch, early dinner. And I have actually never tried flathead before. That's something else people have been telling me flathead is delicious. So let's go give it a go in fact, Let's see how it compares to the channel catfish and see if there's a difference. See if we like one better than the other or not. All right, y'all, both of our catfish are dead. Let's go ahead and get to cleaning. There we go. That's a nice piece of meat right there. 
That's really nice. I'm gonna cut those ribs out. There you go. That's beautiful. Rinse it off a little bit. Get some of the blood out of the meat. There we go. That's like a good size right there. Look at that. I don't see any yellow in that. Or very, very little. That yellow is that fat. That's a good piece of meat. Heck yeah. Do the other side next. There we go. There is our channel. Another nice size piece of meat. Seeing a lot more fat in that. A lot of yellow on the top. Even for how lean that was. That kind of surprised me. But you're always going to have a little bit of that in catfish, I guess. All right, we've got both of our catfish filleted up. This is the flathead. This is the uh, channel. And the channel definitely has more fat in it. The flathead meat looks a lot more white. We'll see how it stacks up, I guess. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll go ahead and get the oil heated up. First, there we go. Oh yeah. All right. Flathead going in for the first time on my channel. On either channel, actually. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, first batch off. And then we're just hitting these simply with some salt and pepper. All right, there is our flathead. Now for channel. Looking good. Smelling good too. Nothing like a good catfish fry, man. All right, there we go. We have the flathead and we have the channel. So let's go ahead and say a quick prayer first. Thank the Lord for keeping us at safety for a good day. And then we'll get started right in on this. All right. I think we're going to start with a piece of the channel cat. Here we go. Little channel catfish. Mm. Solid catfish. Quality. Quality. Now, though, let's go ahead and try a nice bite of our flathead. Here we go. First time ever for high adventure videos. Actually, you know what? Take a sip of Pepsi. Pepsi, I'm looking for a sponsorship still. <laughs> Cleanse the palate. All right, here we go. Hmm. You know, without taking a sip of Pepsi, I'm gonna go back to the channel immediately. Then I'm gonna go right back to the flathead here. That's crazy. The flathead to me has a very clean taste for catfish. Like, that's the best way to describe it. It's like, it's very clean. It's a clean tasting fish. The channel catfish is still good, but there's way more fish flavor. Like it's way fishier tasting, the channel is, than the flathead. That's the best way to describe it, in my opinion. And as we learned in the last video, Tabasco sauce, delicious. I had a bunch of people recommending other sauces like uh, some of Frank's hot sauce. We'll get to that. Uh, as a Tapatio, I think, was another one somebody mentioned. So we're definitely going to have to catch more catfish. Hey, I know where we can find some. We're going to go get more catfish and throw down some more catfish recipes because this is awesome. And this is an awesome place for catfishing. Can't beat a catfish for... Oh, hot, spicy. That Tabasco hit the back of the throat. Jeepers. As I was saying, can't beat a catfish fry. Mm. Well, YouTube fam, the verdict is in, and it's pretty much that flathead catfish taste amazing, and I think we need to go get more. Seriously, this is probably my new favorite catfishing spot now. I mean, this place, this place is incredible. And we got our personal best today as well. We hit a catfish grand slam catching all three there gotta be some like 30 40 50 bounders in here and 
Quite frankly, I'm not gonna rest until we get one of those. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let's come back out and do some more of this awesome catfishing. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.